Hi, welcome to the best university, Lama University. We bring this series about education in America to help prospective students keen on going to the USA. This is a product of hard work by our team of professionals and the faculty members who visited various universities in America. This will help to create an understanding among the students about the universities and university education of the USA. In this episode, we focus on Lama University. The Lama University in the Texas State is a member of the Texas State University system. Its campus is spread over 270 acres in Buxmont City. It is located 90 kilometers away from Houston. It is 25 miles west to the Louisiana. The Lama University located in the Buxmont City was first started in 1923 as the South Park Junior College with a student strength of 125 in the first fall semester. Lamar is part of the Texas State University system. There are eight institutions in the Texas State University system. We're the third largest in that institutional system. We have about 15,200 students roughly at Lamar. About 6,000 of our students are online. Uh, we service a large constituency in the master's degree in education. We also provide an EDD in the education space, which is a PhD-like kind of product. We also provide a graduate product, an undergraduate product in engineering in the online space as well. Lamar has existed since 1923, but it, in 1960 we began offering master's degrees. And then in the 1970s, we began offering our first doctoral programs. And now we have several master's and doctoral programs. The university has been named in honor of Mirabo B. Lamar, second president of the Republic of Texas and the father of education in Texas in 1932. In the early 1940s, it shifted to the present location from the South Park School District. In 1951, it became the State College of Technology offering four-year courses with the government support. In the history of Texas, it was the first ever junior college to become the College of Technology. The population is around eight, 9,000. The additional students are uh, online students. Lamar has been a leader in online education. So even our students that are on campus, many of them are taking a course online because it offers greater flexibility in their class scheduling. Uh, and helps them uh, get through uh, their degree in a timely manner. Of course, many of our students are also graduate students. The College of Engineering is the largest uh, graduate uh, school in Lamar. There are actually four institutions that have Lamar in their title in, in a 20-mile, 30-mile radius of where we're sitting. Uh, there's Lamar University, which is the flagship, and it's the 15,000 student uh, institution. The other three Lamar institutions are actually two-year institutions. Lamar Institute of Technology offers an associate's degree, but they also offer preparation for people in uh, technology or industry-related applications. So they might provide certifications in welding or certifications in, for electricians or any one of a variety of sectors of the, of the labor force. And then there's Lamar Port Arthur, which is in the town of Port Arthur, and they primarily focus on AA degrees. And then there's Lamar Orange, which is in the community of Orange, city of Orange, and they likewise prepare people with AA degrees. It became a research university by implementing the first ever doctoral program in 1970s. In 1971, it was renamed the University of Lamar. In 1970s, the university had set up its campuses in the Port Arthur, and Orange. Subsequently, these institutions grew up as exclusive institutions. In 1980s, the university was a member of the Lamar University system. In 1995, the Lamar University became a member of the Texas State University. Smart create and micro create um, energy related stuff. And we have uh, eight uh, research, I have eight research assistants from doctoral student to master's student. They're all working right here for me. Uh, they're within some three teams, they're working together within a project and the outcome is publishing papers in prestigious journals. Less than a mile south of the campus is the site of the Spindletop oil discovery in 1901. It was the first major gusher in the world. 
Across the street from Lamar University is ExxonMobil, one of the largest uh, refineries in the United States is right here. So petrochemical is very big in this region and brings a lot of strength and opportunity for students studying chemical engineering. The Lamar University was recognized by Southern Association of Colleges and Schools and Commission of Colleges. High school graduates who have not studied in any college are regarded as freshmen. Students wishing to pursue graduate courses from the Lamar University should choose any one course from 36 masters and five doctoral programs. In terms of research and doctoral programs, the opportunities are extensive. Uh, we have a number of new faculty, specifically in uh, electrical power and energy, smart grid. Uh, we have some faculty that are working computer networking and they're working with cybersecurity issues, which is a, a major thing. Uh, we also have some faculty in control systems and robotics, and uh, we have uh, <clears throat> faculty working with telecommunications. We have a bachelor's degree program in electrical engineering. We have a master's where there's both a thesis and non-thesis option, and we also have a doctor of engineering uh, in electrical engineering. The Lamar University extends admission to undergraduate and graduate courses to overseas students. Overseas students can find out their admission status from time to time through online. The National Science Foundation, the National Institute of Health, the National Endowment for the Arts, U.S. Department of Science, U.S. Department of Education are some of the funding organizations to the research. Entry criteria is to have at least uh, 153 in quantitative, GRE, and um, 6.5 on YELST, English proficiency. Uh, 6 is acceptable only on the bridge level. Um, but I strongly recommend you will have uh, 6.5 because uh, then you can concentrate on the um, uh, computer science courses. We do have uh, two prerequisite exams, um, uh, programming for graduate students and the uh, operating systems uh, that you can take uh, before you come. If uh, you don't get B or above, then you need to uh, attend the courses. Uh. The preparation of engineers for that space, both on the chemical engineering side, mechanical, civil, electrical, industrial, are a big part of the mission of this institution. And then, of course, we provide a tremendous amount of educational product. The Lamar University's The Mary and Gray Library stocks all educational information, documents, books for student access. Through an internet link called Academic Search Complete, the students can access full text of many academic journals. The thesis is that they have uh, an excellent portfolio of what they've been able to accomplish and that it allows them to get very, very good jobs in any sector in electrical engineering. And that includes VLSI design, telecommunications, power and energy controls, uh, you name it. All dailies published during 1995 to 2005 have been digitized for the ready reference of students. The university has a great sports culture. The Office of the Alumni Affairs works all through the year to build bonds between the old and new students. It conducts all activities related to old students beside the community programs. So in addition to the uh, NCAA athletics that Lamar University has that uh, students can go attend and watch a game like basketball, baseball, football, soccer and more, uh, the university has a lot of intramural sports where students who are not student athletes can still get involved in the game and the, the opportunities range from uh, volleyball to cricket to badminton, uh, flag football, racquetball, just a whole host of uh, sports and opportunities. So if you, you want to stay physically fit and you want to burn off some stress, uh, sports and athletics and the Recreational Sports Center are a great place to do that.